question 37 is about locus uh, related to straight line and circle. So let's have a look. There is a straight line. Uh, the equation is like this and there is a circle. Intercept at two points. You already know that they will intercept. So there is a straight line. I'm not sure whether it's look like this. I just simply draw it. And then there is a circle. And then they say that there is two point P and Q. It's talking about the intercept point. What is asking is asking about the x coordinate of the midpoint of PQ. So if this coordinate is x1, y1, this is x2, y2. What we are interested is not P and Q itself, but we are interested in the midpoint. And they say that uh, this is 2, 0. Uh, about the strategy, we know that the two solution x1 plus x2 divided by 2 is the x coordinate of the midpoint. So basically, they try to tell you that x1 plus x2 over 2 is equal to 2. x1 plus x2 is the sum of the roots. So uh, in order to find out the relation, I mean the position of P and Q, the intercept point for P and Q. It's fulfilled two requirements, 3x minus y minus 2 equals 0. At the same time, it's fulfilled the circle equation requirement. If we are trying to find out the position of P and Q, we are trying to solve this simultaneous equation. So now we are going to substitute and make it become one unknown only. y is equal to 3x minus 2. Therefore, 5x squared plus 5 something squared plus kx plus 4 something minus 20 is equal to 0. And that one is 3x minus 2. After substitution, only x as the only variable. And then we are going to simplify it. And then we expect we will have some quadratic equations with how many x squared plus how many x plus how many equal to zero. Then we can apply the sum of roots divided by two is equal to two. Then we can use it directly. So uh, for some student, maybe it's difficult for you to expand it carefully. Just try. So 9x squared minus 12x plus 4 and then plus kx, and then plus 12x minus 8 minus 20 equals 0. So again, I suggest my student to write everything in word, uh, multiple call, uh, rows. Minus 60x and then uh, plus 20, plus kx plus 12x minus 8 minus 20. So 5 plus 45, we got 50x squared. And then uh, plus k minus 48 times of x. And then cancel minus 8 equals 0. So we don't really need to use um, quadratic formula. It's because we can get the sum of roots. is equal to negative b divided by a. So negative b here is k minus 48. a itself is 50. That means x1 plus x2 is equal to this. And given, don't forget that in the very beginning, we know that uh, x1 plus x2 over 2 is equal to 2. That means x1 plus x2 is equal to 4. Our result k minus 48 is equal to 200, negative 200. And then k is equal to negative 152. So we find that k should equal negative 152 and the answer should be a here. 
So recap again. Uh, whenever they tell you that there is a straight line, a circle, they ask you about the intercept point. We are talking about the results of simultaneous equation. And in this case, they are asking the midpoint of PQ. So what we are interested in is not x1 itself or x2 itself, but the sum of them, sum of roots. That's why we can apply what we have learned in form 4 to get the sum of roots directly from the coefficient, negative b over a.